I am Anil Kumar sharing with you few questions on direct variation. Here's the first one. It says if y varies directly as x and k is constant of variation, then which of the following equation is true? x y equals to k, x over y equals to k, y over x equals to k, or y equals to k plus x. You can pause the video, answer the question, and to solve this, we'll go to the definition of direct variation. That is, we know direct variation means y is proportional to x or y is equal to a constant of proportionality k times x. So you can rearrange and write k as y over x, right? So k is y over x. Option C is the correct option. So let's move on. We've got two more to go. Here we are given some data in the form of a table. Explain if the following relation represents direct variation. We are given distance with time. Distance is in kilometers and time is in minutes. The question is, explain if the following relation represents direct variation. So how can you do it? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, from here you can see that as time increases by 15, now time is independent variable. So every change in 15 for time, the distance changing by 10. So we find the change in distance over change in time is basically 10 over 15, correct? Which is constant. Now you need to check if at zero distance or at zero time do we get zero distance. So how do you get zero? We are going up by 15 for time, right? We are going up by 15. So if I take away 15, then I get zero, right? On the other hand, we are going up by 10. If I take away 10, we do get zero. That means the starting point is zero, zero. So zero, zero is the starting point and therefore it represents direct variation. So it is very important to find zero, zero, right? A direct variation is a straight line. That means this difference of y values to x values should be same and at zero time distance should be zero. Therefore it is a direct variation. Now let's look into another example. Explain if the following relation represents direct variation. It's a similar table distance in kilometers time in minutes 0 0 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 so the first criteria is met. That means the starting point is at the origin. Now let's see the difference. You go up by 2 and here you go up by how much? Just 1, not 2. As the distance moves by 1 each and therefore it is not direct. If you try to find the value of k using time after two minutes, you will get the value of k in this portion as change in distance, which is 1 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 0, which is half. On the other hand, if you find k here, you get 4 minus 3 divided by 5 minus 4, which is 1, correct? These two values of k are different and therefore it is not a direct variation. So it is not a direct variation, correct? <clears throat> that is how you can actually show it. I hope that really helps to understand the concept. Thanks for watching and all the best.